Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today uh, we are going to start a new concept, the concept of uh, electric potential and electric potential energy. But before that, I would just want to remind you that the previous videos, we talked about Gauss law, a very important concept in electrostatics, and we applied Gauss law to different uh, symmetries, charge distributions, a planar symmetry, cylindrical symmetry, and spherical symmetry. So today we are going to start this, this uh, concept of uh, electric potential and electric potential energy. And we're going to start, first of all, with the electric potential energy, okay? Electric potential energy. And then we move to electric potential. As you, as you remember, in, uh, in uh, mechanics, in the previous course, Physics 101, there was a gravitational potential energy related to uh, two masses which are close in a configuration and uh, they are close to uh, the, uh, separated by distance r then there is a potential energy of that system similarly here we have we are doing electricity so we have what we call electrical potential energy this is the, the, the potential energy between for a, a certain charge configuration okay now to do that let's uh, imagine that you have uh, uh, electric field this is just I am making the electric field uniform just for simplicity but the electric field doesn't have to be uniform okay that's the electric field and then you put a charged particle charged particle here plus Q for example a positive charge you all know that there will be a force on this charge electric force and the force will be in this direction F electric okay so that force the electric force is going to accelerate the particle from this pos position here. I call this one the initial to, let's say, a final position here. So the particle is going to move from here to here, okay? And it's going, there will be work done on the particle, work done by, by the electric force. Now, that electric force, if you remember very well, uh, that force is Q times E, okay? The electric force is the charge times the external electric field. The E is the blue lines here, which are the external electric field, and the Q is the, this green charge which is going to move due to the force, okay? And this force here is a conservative force, conservative force, like, just like the gravitational force in mechanics, it was conservative force, okay? So this is a conservative force, and therefore, therefore, due to, we can, we can have uh, the work done, the work, W, the work done by this force, I, will, I write it like this, W electric, W E, it means the work done by this force is equal to minus the change in potential energy of this charge here. So the charge, the, 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 there will be a change in potential energy, electrical potential energy of the charge. So this is a, a change in what? In, in electrical potential energy, see? That's because the charge is, uh, is changing location, so uh, it, there will be a potential energy here at this point, and there will be a potential energy at this point, and uh, U final here, minus U initial, is, is given by the uh, work, and of course there is a minus sign here in the, in the front because the work due to the electric field uh, or, the, or the gravitational field in mechanics was minus delta U. You should remember this uh, uh, very important uh, concept here. Eh? The work is minus the change in potential energy. And this is the work done by the electric force. Eh? This is the work done by the electric force, by e, the Fe, the electric force Fe, which is here in red. As you can see, that work, uh, that work done by electric force is actually integral of F electric dot ds displacement, okay? And you notice that the displacement and the force are in the same direction, and this will be going to be positive work, okay? The work done by electric WE will be positive, okay? Therefore, delta U should be negative here in this case, okay? Delta U will be negative. So, uh, because uh, Fe and Ds are in the same, same direction, of course, you can write this like this, okay? Integral of F 
electric force times ds times the cosine of the angle between ds ds actually is in this direction because that's how the particle is moving that's the element that's the infinitesimal displacement okay ds and fe are in the same direction this angle will be zero cosine zero will give you one and it will be integral of f e ds okay and this is going to be positive again okay that's that's the work done by that electric force uh, uh, and it is positive and therefore because of the minus sign here delta u is going to be negative in this case so so the but we said that potential energy uh, uh, the pot electrical potential energy has decreased as we go from i to f okay as we go from i to f so uh, w uh, w e is positive and delta u is negative there's a decrease in potential energy of course this decrease in potential energy has gone somewhere because energy cannot be, cannot be lost it has it has it will be transformed from one type to another what is the other type my son that that, that will have uh, the energy will go to because this will be a negative number it will be for example minus 10 joules okay and we know that this is a conservative system so this energy minus 10 joules has to go to somewhere to another type of energy which is what which is the kinetic energy. So there will be a change in kinetic energy, and that kinetic energy will be positive in that case. So, so, so the kinetic energy is going to increase, and the potential energy is going to de decrease. And that's the electrical potential energy of this particle here. Okay? Now, this particle can move along different paths. I can take it through this path here, for example, okay, to this point path number one I can take it through this path number two okay and I hope you remember for a conservative force the work is what path independent okay so W path number one should be equal to W path number two and any other path anyway okay so any other path the work will be the same because uh, we are dealing with what we are dealing with a conservative force okay conservative force and the and the work is path independent is path independent be careful here is a very important uh, point to, uh, to remember and understand okay so the work is path independent uh, now let me uh, uh, show you how how we can relate this to the uh, configuration okay i'm going to uh, to do some work here let me show you here imagine you have a charge uh, a q here okay Imagine now you have a charge, Q, and I'm going to bring a small charge, positive charge, small Q, okay? I'm going to bring it from infinity to this point. At this point here, I'm going to call it point P, a distance from here is R, small r, okay? So I'm going to bring it through this line, from infinity to this point, and I want to calculate the work done to bring that charge from infinity to that point there, okay? The applied work so I'm going to bring it means my force my force will be in this direction right my force will be in this direction F I'm going to go F applied I'm going to introduce a new uh, uh, point here my F applied because this is positive charge be careful and positive charge they repel from each other they repel so you if you if you try to bring this charge small charge to the vicinity of the big charge here plus Q uh, they try to repel so you have to do uh, you have to do uh, you have to apply some work, okay? You have to apply some force, and you have to do work yourself to bring them in this uh, configuration here, uh, separated by distance r, okay? Remember, I'm bringing this from infinity to this point, and I want to find okay, the work. The work applied, okay? The work applied, okay? By, the, by, by this force here. And this is equal integral of f applied, okay, dot ds, okay? Displacement, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it from infinity to the position R. You agree? I'm bringing it from infinity to position R. This is how I integrate, okay? Now, uh, I know that I'm going to try to bring it in a, in a, in a certain way where I have to do minimum uh, uh, effort or minimum work. So I'm going to bring it at constant speed. I'm going to move it, which means, be careful, there's another force here, the electric force, huh? And it is opposite. 
The electric force, because the two charges are positive and positive, the force will be, the electric force will be in, in this direction. And the applied force will be in this direction. Since I'm moving the particle at constant speed from here to here, to this point, I, the two forces should be what? Should be equal. So this is equal to integral between, uh, between infinity to R, there's a minus sign here, F electric. I told you the two forces are opposite. There's a minus sign. Dot ds okay so i'm going to remove this sign here and re uh, invert the the two uh, the, the positions here eh? so uh, f of e dot what dot ds now uh, ds is in this direction be careful eh? and f of e is in this direction you have to be very careful here uh, now what is f of e here in this case what is the electric force uh, uh, on this charge plus Q. I hope you know that it is it is given by K, which is one over one over four pi epsilon zero, Q, Q over R squared. Okay? Now be careful, I'm going to remove these uh, arrows and uh, everything is the same in, in the same direction. Okay? And I have here D I'm, I'm I'm going to write dr here because of the R here, okay? I'm going to write dr. And this is work applied. Remember, this is the work applied, okay? That's the work applied. Now, K, Q, and Q are constant. They go out of the integration. Okay? So K, Q, and Q, integral between R and infinity of dr over R squared. I'm, I'm trying to find the work done to bring a charge from infinity to this point here. Eh? As I'm doing the calculation here, be careful. Eh? So what is the, the uh, integral of dr over R squared? It's minus 1 over R, okay? So K, Q, Q, minus 1 over R between R and infinity. So if I put infinity here, I get 0. And if I put R and there's a minus sign, I get what? I get a positive number. So work applied will be K, Q, Q over R. This is the final answer. I'm going to repeat. Huh? First, I, have, I replace infinity here. 1 over infinity gives me 0, so it's gone. And then I put a minus with a minus. What, I put R here, so I get this here. Eh? The minus sign disappears. So this is the work done to bring the charges, and of course the work applied is equal to delta U. Be careful, eh? be careful here. Work of the electric field is minus delta U, but work applied is equal to delta U. Okay, that's U final minus U initial. What is the potential when the particle is here at infinity? What is the potential energy of the is it zero? Okay, this is zero. We define the potential. So when r is equal to uh, r goes to infinity, we define the potential at infinity to be equal to what? To zero. So u i, where where the particle one where the particle was here, that initially the u is zero here. Eh? So this is the u. The, this is the u when the two particles are in this configuration here. So in other words, if I have a particle here plus q and another particle here plus Q, a distance between them, R, I know that they have a potential energy, the system, the system here, this configuration as it is, has a potential energy U equal K, Q, Q over R. And that's the answer here. That's the, the work done, and that's the potential energy of this configuration here. We will see this later in, in more details, okay? That's, of course, this U, this U, can be positive if the two charges have what? Same sign. They are either both of them positive or both of them negative. It can be uh, negative if one is positive and the other one is negative. So the product of a positive and negative will give you a negative number. A product of positive with positive will give you a positive number. A product of negative with negative will give you a positive number. So you have to be careful. And of course, these things, they have units. Okay, The SI units for this U is Joule, of course, because it has to do with work, okay? It is a work, so the change in potential energy is, is equal to work. So this is very, very important, my son, to understand this point. Uh, there are two things here. Uh, always remember this. When R goes to infinity, you can see it from here. Take R to infinity, what, will be, what is U? It's zero, okay? And... And this important point here, uh, this configuration of Q and Q here, uh, separated by the distance E, U, uh, distance R, ha they have 
a potential electric potential energy given by this uh, equation here. And this can be positive or negative depending on the sign of the charges. This is, these are scalars, be, be careful. Eh? So you have to put the sign of the charges here. Okay? This is the important point that you have to know. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.